Hey friends, I made the tutorial portion of this video right before Hurricane Helene totally devastated my hometown of Asheville, North Carolina. They're now calling it a 1 in 1,000 year storm, and I believe it. I've never seen so much devastation. I'm coming to you from my house, which has no power or water, but thanks to this generator that my awesome neighbor let me borrow, ran up to my satellite dish, I can finally upload this video. My family is safe and okay, but many are not. If you can please donate to the relief initiatives up here or down in the description, that'd be awesome. Okay, so to get to the video, I wanted to show a bunch of different sample slicing techniques using Ableton Simpler and how you can create really cool ideas using only two samples. Let's go. Okay, so here's a sample that I downloaded off the internet. It's a royalty-free sample. Now what I'd like to do is sort of creatively break some molds here and try some wild things. So the very first thing that I'm gonna do is simply just select areas of this audio, hit Command or Control E, and what that will do is that will split. And then I'm gonna just reverse it. Why not? And let's maybe right here do the same thing, Command or Control E, which will split, and then let's just octave up randomly. Okay, so, and then maybe here, let's do the same thing, Command or Control E, and then this time I'll reverse it, and then right here, Command or Control E, and then octave up. So there's some changes that I've made, right? And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this, and then I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna to go to Consolidate, which is also Command or Control J. And what this will do is this will create a new WAV file that will commit all the changes that I've made. So now that I've got this all committed, what I can do is now create a MIDI track, and then what I can do is I can select the MIDI track, drag and drop this sample into here. Okay, so now it's living in a simpler. And Simpler has some really useful slicing modes. Um, you know, you can do it by transient, meaning that it will simply just detect aspects of the sample that have peaks in the audio signal. So then you can play up and down your keyboard and get those different slices. But again, in the interest of remaining creative and trying to do new things, let's go down to the slice by and choose manual. Now, another thing I want to do is I'm going to go to controls and I'm going to, yeah, just randomly pitch this down. Let's just do four semitones here. I'm gonna go back to the sample, and now let's uh, let's go ahead and expand this. So so you can actually uh, reveal a, a more expanded view of the slices that you make, and then you can kind of see all the controls that you'd want to have in Simpler all kind of expanded out. It's kind of nice. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to double click in certain areas and just choose areas of the sample that will be places that my slices will be. So double click. I'll maybe double click here right after that uh, click or pop sound. <laughs> Let's double click here. Yeah, I'm just choosing random places to do this at. And what's gonna be fun about this is that I'm not really sure what these are gonna sound like yet. I can always adjust them later, but these are just kind of areas of the sample that might be fun to play and hopefully will fuel my creativity. So, okay, I've made just a bunch of these slices. Now you can see that uh, my MIDI track that has the simpler on it is armed, so I can now play this on my keyboard. So I'd like to take this sample and kind of move it over here so now I can get... So what's cool here is that I've kind of discovered somewhat of a riff, right? But I think that this sample, I'd rather it start sooner, right? So now we can go. So that's my new riff. So likely what I've just come up with is probably not the same BPM that this original sample is in. So what I'm gonna have to do is think about the new tempo that I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna tap that in. Let's see if this works. Cool, so that sounds right to me. So let's make it an even 144 and I'll go ahead and record this. Oh, 
Okay, cool. So that's my first riff here. All right, so I'm gonna move my idea out of the way, and here's this drum sample. And this is what the vanilla drum sample sounds like. I kind of want to see what happens when I pitch it up a bit. Now what's happening here is we're using the beats warping algorithm and we can hear it kind of wobble back and forth, right? What's happening is it's actually taking the sample and playing it forward and then playing it in reverse to try to make up the time that is being uh, generated here. And what we can do instead is we can choose to go to just play through the sample and then stop mode, which is uh, this one right here. Um, they call it off transient loop mode, right? So now it sounds like this. <laughs> Maybe we could even shorten the transients a bit. Like it. Okay, cool. So now that we've sort of made this happen, I can right click and consolidate. And what that will do again is that will commit the changes that I've made to this audio. Next thing I'll do is of course make a MIDI track and then I'll drag the sample into the MIDI track. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go to slice mode and this time I'll slice it by the beat. Now what's nice is you can choose different divisions. But I, I'm pretty sure that a quarter note is a great one because I can get all the different drum hits that I'd want to get in here. And again, we want to make sure that we're on gate mode so that we're not playing extra drums that we don't need. Cool, so I'll go ahead and loop our idea here. Let's go ahead and loop this one. Commander Control L. Okay, cool, I have an idea. Okay, word, so I'll go ahead and quantize that. Commander Control U, drag this back, duplicate it, and now we have. I'll go ahead and get this guy out of the way for now, and let's go ahead and select all this, and I'll duplicate it. Now what's fun about this is that if I turn on arm mode for the piano, for example, and I make sure that I have my MIDI arrangement overdub on, what I can do is I can add slices occasionally to this to make it more interesting to listen to. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and quantize that. Okay, cool, so those are kind of like glitches and I'd like those to be right on the uh, grid. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select all of them. Command or Control U. And the next thing you'll notice is that these notes are kind of stopping the original notes, and that's because we have the slicer on the playback for mono mode, and what I'd like to do is poly, and what that means is that you can play more than one slice at a time. So now we get this kind of sound. Okay, cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this track, actually, and I'm going to delete this guy right here. And what I'd like to do is flip the script yet again on myself, and I'm going to actually octave up this entire thing. And let's go ahead and make it plus eight, which the reason I'm making it plus eight is that it was originally minus four. And if I add 12 semitones to that, that puts it an octave higher. So now I can go ahead and play this uh, piano over the other stuff and kind of make this more interesting to listen to. <laughs> I think that's my riff, okay. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I think that was my best rep right there. Let's go ahead and use that. Take that last little hit out of that. Bam.
Let me go ahead and add a drum bus real quick to this drum beat. And then again, I'll do the same thing with this drum beat. So I'm going to duplicate this track. And this time, let's go ahead and pitch it down instead. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete all this stuff. Yeah. And let's go ahead and grab an arpeggiator, put it before it. I'm going to choose a bunch of hats. I'm kind of enjoying this kind of thing. So let's go ahead and record that. Super cool. Okay, sweet. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to make this more interesting. Right now it sounds like this. Let's just go ahead and listen to the drums. I just turned up those hats a bit so you could hear what they're doing. Let's go into the actual um, hats track and let's do a couple of fun things with the arpeggiator. So because uh, Simpler is set up to receive volume to velocity, let's kind of crank this up a bit. Maybe turn the track down a little bit. Um, we can do a thing where we can make the velocity actually go down over time. So if I turn on velocity, take a listen to what happens to the hats. Right now, they're kind of remaining in that, that middle range, but if I turn uh, target all the way down, take a listen, they'll actually get quieter over one second. Right? They're, they're so quiet, you can't even hear them. So what we can do, though, is we can turn on retrigger mode, and we'll retrigger every beat. So now if I turn on retrigger, take a listen to what happens now. Right? That's fun. Let's go ahead and turn up the target a bit so that they don't go completely away. So another thing I can do is I can mess with the gate. Right now, the hats are um, playing and then stopping, but if I turn the gate up a, a little bit, take a listen to this. So I'll go ahead and reveal my automation uh, by hitting the A key or clicking this button up here. I'm gonna make the gate up high for the first rep, and then the second uh, rep, I'm gonna pull it down. So we'll get sort of like a more staccato sound every other time. Let's take a listen to this now. Make it a little bit more extreme. Take a listen now. Sweet. I'll go ahead and duplicate that. All right, so let's go ahead and make a bass line to this. I'm going to duplicate yet again this piano slicer. And this time, I'm going to actually turn it back to classic mode. I'm going to delete all this stuff in here. And I'm going to rename this to bass so I don't forget which one I'm on. And I really like this section right here. Right? So I think what I'll do is I'll just loop this section right here. Go ahead and loop it. So what's interesting about looping this is that you get these rhythms that come out. The, the speed upon which it will repeat will be different for each note. So let's go ahead and uh, record something. Okay, cool. So just for good measure, let's go ahead and add <laughs> a little bit of OTT, turn the uh, uh, amount down a bit. You can hear that click at the beginning of it. Probably mitigate that by turning the attack up a bit. Cool. Okay, so here's my full idea, and I only used two samples to create this whole thing. Word, so hopefully you enjoyed this kind of more freeform style of video where I'm just kind of like going through maybe like what I would do when it comes to encountering samples and how I would slice them in a creative fashion. I hope that this inspired you. If you like this kind of thing, like, comment, subscribe. Much love, everybody. See you next time.